Hi, my name is Mark and I'm an ASC certified master technician with over 35 years experience. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly diagnose and repair this vehicle using the tips and tricks that I've gathered throughout my career. Let's get started. Our service vehicle is a 2003 Chevy Silverado with a 4.8 liter V8 in it. Our customer came in with a complaint of rough idle and the check engine light was on. So we're going to go ahead, visually inspect our engine for any loose wires or vacuum hoses and we're going to scan it. The tools required for our diagnostics today is going to be safety gloves and glasses, a fuel injection tester, a Noid light, fuel pressure gauge, quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter, flat bladed screwdriver, volt meter, and a scan tool. So what you want to do is you want to check all the connectors, the coil wires, spark plug wires, fuel injecting wires. You want to check for cracked or broken vacuum lines. You want to give it a detailed inspection. We have a cover right here. We can take that off. We can look up underneath it also. Check all the vacuum hoses. And just give it a real good visual look for something obviously wrong. Everything looks good here, so we're gonna go ahead and scan this vehicle. So let's go ahead and scan our vehicle with our ignition on. A code P0300 comes up, which is random misfire detected. Also, we have a P0302, which tells us that we have a misfire at cylinder number two. Let's go ahead and investigate that area. During our visual inspection, what we want to do is check this hose right here. It goes down to our fuel pressure regulator. Simply pull the hose off and look for wetness. This has some slight wetness. We're going to advise our customer that this could be a potential problem in the future. Right now, let's continue with our procedure. For video purposes, we removed our air intake and our wire harness off our throttle body. So since we believe that we have a fuel-related problem here, we want to check for fuel pressure. I've installed a fuel pressure gauge at our fuel rail and what we want is to turn the key on engine off and check for fuel pressure. We should be 55 to 62 pounds PSI for this vehicle. Let's turn the ignition on. We're at 58 pounds, which is good for this vehicle. So let's go ahead, bleed this off, and we're going to check our injector itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually check our wiring at the injector. We're going to simply pull up on our tab, push in the tab, and pull up on our injector, and take that off. Now what we're going to do is a Noid test. We're going to stick our light in here. We're going to crank it over, make sure our light is blinking. Now we can install our Noid light and we'll be able to see if we have power going from the PCM. So we're going to go ahead and start our engine. We want to make sure that this light is blinking. So go ahead and start the engine. So we have power from our PCM to our injector unit. Now what we want to do is we want to check to see if we have a faulty injector. Go ahead, turn it off. So what we want to do is we want to test our injector. We have an injector box here, tester, 50 pulse, 10 milliseconds. We want to look for a drop in pressure. We have our wires connected to our injector. We're just going to push this and we have no injector movement at all. 
I want to double check, just make sure that the one next to it is working. So let's just disconnect that wire harness off the injector. We're going to take those probes. So let's go ahead and check that other injector. And there you have it, it's working. We see a drop in pressure of 22 pounds. So that's within the range right there of normal. So let's go ahead and we will replace that injector. We just installed our injector and what I want to do is I want to check the ohms on this one and compare it to the one next to it. They should be relatively the same. We're just going to take our probe, stick it in our injector. We're looking for resistance. We have 12.5, the one next to it as a comparison. We're at 12.5, and that's within the range we want to be. So let's go ahead, reinstall our wiring for our injectors, and we'll start this vehicle up and see how well it runs. So with the ignition on, what we're going to do is we're going to clear our codes. The erase is in progress and the race is successful. Let's go ahead and test drive our vehicle. We just got back from a quick test drive and our engine is running nice and smooth with no hesitation and rough idle. I'm sure the gas mileage and the performance has increased on this vehicle, which our customer would greatly appreciate. With this vehicle, everything looks great.